Welcome to this video on mitosis. Take a look at the keywords we'll use in this video. So mitosis is the process of cell division. It's the way our body cells grow. It's really important for repair too. For example, if you have a cut on your skin, your cells will divide and replace the damaged cells. Mitosis always produces genetically identical cells, meaning that the DNA in the cells created by mitosis are exactly the same as the original cells. The cells are also always diploid, so they have the full number of chromosomes. There are lots of different stages of mitosis. Cells only spend around 10% of their time actually dividing. Let's look at the stages now. Before mitosis even starts, interphase needs to happen. This is when the cell copies all of its DNA ready to put into the new cell. It also needs to make more organelles such as mitochondria and ribosomes. Mitosis then begins with prophase. The nucleus begins to break down and spindle fibres appear. During metaphase, the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell. The spindle fibres then pull the chromatids away to each end of the cell during anaphase. The nucleus is reformed in telophase and mitosis ends with cytokinesis. This is when the cell membrane and cytoplasm finally split, creating two cells. The DNA inside the cell controls its rate of division. However, cancer tumours can form when uncontrolled division happens. This can be caused by mutated DNA. We know that growth is caused by mitosis. Growth just means the increase in size or number. This diagram shows the cell division from a zygote to a fetus. Animal cells only divide, however the main way plants grow is by elongation, however they still divide in some areas, for example at the roots. We can use percentile growth charts to measure the growth of humans. They compare the rate of growth with the average population. The 100th percentile is the largest, the 50th percentile is average and the 1st percentile is the smallest.